The Dachshund is a remarkable little dog with a high level of energy and a lot of love for their families. In today's video, we'll be comparing this fun-loving breed with the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, an active and loving dog. Welcome back to the Fenrir Dachshund Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Hattie. I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirK9Leaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Dachshund, then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect Dachshunds. So if you're a lifelong Dachshund lover thinking about getting one, or you've just started your journey with your new Dachshund pup, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Dachshund video. So let's dive right into today's video and look at these two breeds, their similarities and their differences. Firstly, let's take a look at the breed's histories. The Dachshund was developed in Germany where they were used to hunt badgers, which explains their name. Dachs meaning badger and Hund meaning dog. Illustrations of dogs resembling the breed can be found in 15th century drawings and documents from the 16th century write about the earth dog and the badger creeper. Dachshunds were also used to hunt den animals including foxes and rabbits and packs of dachshunds would trail wild boar. The breed continued to develop as it was refined in Germany over many years by German forsters in the 18th and 19th centuries. They wanted to create a breed that was fearless and elongated that could dig into burrows and go into those burrows to fight the animal to death if necessary. Smooth-coated dachshunds were the original type and were believed to have been created through breeding with the Brock, a small French pointing breed, and the Pincher, a small terrier type ratter. It's thought that the French Basset Hound may have played a part in their development too. The long-haired dachshunds were most likely created through crossing with Spaniels and the wire-haired dachshunds through crossing with Terriers. In the 1800s, dachshunds were being bred more as pets than as hunters, particularly in Britain, and were favourites of royalty. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel was developed less than a century ago, with its beginning being a toy spaniel that has existed for several centuries as a companion to royalty. Cavaliers descend from toy spaniels that were depicted in the many 16th, 17th and 18th century paintings. It was King Charles II that loved the dogs and actually gave them their name. He never went anywhere without one of these dogs by his side and even decreed that the spaniel shouldn't be allowed in any public place. That decree is apparently still in fact today in England, but no one has tested it recently to see if it's true. The King Charles Spaniels would bred with other dogs like Pugs, which developed many of their features like the shorter nose and the domed head. The name Cavalier King Charles Spaniel was chosen to differentiate the breed from the flat-faced King Charles Spaniel. In 1945, the breed was recognised by the Kennel Club. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, that I have a completely free course called The Principles to the Perfect Puppy. In that course, I break down all of the most important things that I think you absolutely have to know and understand for you to become a high level canine leader that raises your own perfect canine companions. So if you want to go and check out my completely three principles to the perfect puppy course, there'll be a link down in the description box below. Thousands of people have taken that and had incredible success. So I can't wait to see you over there again. There'll be a link in the description box below. I'll see you on that course. Cavaliers are small but sturdy dogs that stand at around 12 to 13 inches at the shoulder, weighing 13 to 18 pounds. They have medium length coats, which are silky and may also be slightly wavy and come in four different colourings, being Blenheim, Tricolour, Black and Tan and Ruby. Dachshunds are bred and shown in two different sizes being standard and miniature. Standards usually weigh between 16 and 32 pounds and miniature weigh 11 pounds and under. Smooth dachshunds have a short and shiny coat and can be a variety of colours including red, cream, brindle, black, chocolate, grey, fawn and tan. They can be single coloured, two coloured or even dappled. Wire haired dachshund coats are very different in comparison to the smooth dachshunds as they have short, thick and rough hair as, as the top coat with a soft undercoat. And the most common colour for the wire hair is wild boar. Long-haired dachshunds have a silky and slightly wavy long coat, which gives them a rather elegant appearance. This breed does shed, but not in majorly excessive amounts, and their coat is pretty low maintenance. The lifespan of the dachshund ranges from 12 to 13 years. As with all the dog breeds, they can be more prone to particular health conditions, which is incredibly important to be aware of before bringing a dachshund into your home. For this breed, you should expect to see health clearances from the breeder, which have been completed by a certified scheme. There are many health tests available for all dog breeds in order to understand potential risks and the level of those risks, which includes progressive retinal atrophy for dachshunds in particular. Certain health conditions that dachshunds are more prone to include back problems, epilepsy, degenerative eye disorders, bloat, hormonal conditions, diabetes and deafness. 
The Cavalier is a generally healthy dog, but can also be prone to certain health conditions, including heart disease, brain and spinal conditions, muscular issues, hip dysplasia, joint problems, and eye conditions. Being aware of this prior to getting a dog is significantly important since as an owner you need to be able to care for your dog in the way they require which could mean some large vet bills. Cavaliers are eager to meet everyone. They are sociable dogs that long for attention from anyone. They come in a range of personalities from quiet to rowdy. They are known to be dogs that let you know of most events in your neighbourhood and can bark a large amount when strangers approach your home. They are great playmates for your children, especially if they play games or even just relaxing together. Cavaliers desire to be close to their family and need your affections in order to maintain a happy and healthy life due to having a very dependent personality. Being a spaniel at heart, they will also commonly want to chase small animals that they spot in the distance. The Dachshund is a clever, high energy and courageous little dog that was bred to persevere, meaning that they can be pretty stubborn when they want to be. They have a reputation of being very entertaining pups and fearless in character. They adore their owners and long for affection and plenty of cuddles and playing. Like every breed, dachshunds need to be socialised from an early age in order for your pup to grow into a well-balanced adult dog that is less wary of strangers and unfamiliar dogs or other animals. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below, and don't forget that if you're new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated dachshund videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenray Dachshund Show.